Better Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. And in part two of our Tableau Maps exercise, we're going to do the fun part here. If you've completed uh, step one uh, of the uh, video and or the, our first video, and you've completed our uh, Tableau Map, uh, you're now ready to put it into a dashboard and make it uh, filtered, so you can filter out state by state uh, what you want to look at. So. You'll find our exercises uh, at this address, bit.ly slash Tableau Maps. Um, this link will also be in the description of this video, as well as a link to the initial training video. Uh, so if you haven't built the map yet and found this video, uh, you can go back and do so. Here are all the steps in the exercise on how to download the data set and build the map. Uh, so that's the first two pages. When we get down to page, uh, middle of, bottom of page four here, um, it says add a map into a filter dashboard. That's what we're going to do now. Um, so those are all the steps, uh, one through five, that you need to do here uh, to get it to work. Uh, so I'll demo it here. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, hard part's over. You've built this map of uh, all of the uh, uh, cases, COVID cases, uh, by county in the U.S. per 100,000 people. As you can see here, you know, there's some high concentration areas. Uh, it'd be nice if we could go out around and filter out, you know, everything in the U.S. except for the one state we want to focus on. Um, so to do that, we're going to add what's called a dashboard. And down here at the bottom, right next to our tab here that has the map in it, we're going to add a new dashboard. So click on that, hit the plus sign, and you'll see the interface here. Um, it asks us uh, to drop a sheet in here, and our only sheet on this tab is, is our map. Uh, so we'll just drag it over and drop it in here. And there sits our map. Um, it's got this little subhead on it. Um, what I want to do, though, is, is give this a big headline. Uh, and to do that, I can just click here at the very top. Um, and I'll name it US COVID-19 I'll put the dates on it, too. It's, uh, this uh, text is actually in your handout. Um, so you can actually uh, take this and add it. To make it appear at the top, click this little button in the lower left that says Show Dashboard Title. You'll see it pops up up here. I can double click on it. Uh, and I'm probably going to center this. I'm going to highlight the text here and center it and uh, you know, adjust the colors again. Uh, and I'll punch up the size of it a little bit. I'll take it up to 22 point uh, and fold it out. Really give it a little different look and feel. Um, and then I've still got my little subhead here. Uh, notice here it's giving my gradient uh, by number of, of cases uh, per 100K. Um, and over here is where I'll uh, add my filter uh, and I'll also add my credit over here. It's very important to have your credit in here. Uh, we'll do the filter first. Um, if you go over here and just tap inside your map, uh, just so it's highlighted, don't double click on it or anything, but just tap on it so it's highlighted, uh, you'll see a little card appear up here, show and hide cards. Um, and you want to click on that, and it'll give you a little pull down menu to add things like legends, you know, highlight certain things. Um, you know, I want to add a filter. Um, and uh, uh, you can filter out by uh, different uh, selections here. I'm going to filter by state. And it drops in all of the states here uh, as a checkbox pull down, which is kind of clumsy here. Um, if you, again, just click on it, it gives you a little pull down menu here that says more options. If you click on that, it'll give you things like slider or a drop down menu, which would work really well here, a single value drop down menu. So you can always play with them and kind of tinker with them. It defaults to Alabama, so now we've just isolated Alabama, which is really nice. We can see you know, up close uh, how bad it is without having to try to zoom in or, or do a search on it. We can just filter it out real quickly, and I can go back to all now uh, and show everything, you know, because obviously we have um, Hawaii down here uh, and also Alaska in here as well. Now, I do want to add a credit here. Um, I go into text. And drag that over, and I'm going to drop it right underneath my filter. And I'm going to give the source, uh, which is uh, Johns Hopkins 
University. And again, this is all this information is on your uh, uh, handout. Um, you can pull it from there. I'll punch it up a little bit. I'll make it 12 point. I always like uh, my text, you know, for people to be able to see it. And there it is over on the rail. Um, so now I've got a filtered map uh, built into a dashboard. Um, now I want to take this and export it. Um, if you go back to our handout, it walks you through a series of steps uh, to finish and export something from Tableau Desktop uh, to Tableau Public. Tableau Public, remember, is your web page here where your maps and your different uh, uh, graphics are, are posted. And once you open them there, uh, you can embed them or link off, you know, get the hot link to them uh, and share them at will. Um, so um, go through these steps here. Um, make sure you're logged into Tableau Public. Um, and you can check that by going to server. It shows that I'm signed in, so that's good. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to data uh, and go down here under data, uh, and it'll ask you to extract the data. You have to do this step you know, each time you're going to export something. So hit extract data. Uh, make sure there's nothing in here. If there is, delete it out. Uh, and then just hit the extract button, the blue button down in the lower right. It'll ask you to name it, and it'll drop it into a subfolder called data sources, which is, is fine. Um, just have to do that. Um, then go back to server, and you're going to publish your workbook. Hit publish workbook. It'll stop you and ask you to name it. And if I want it to sync up, uh, if I've got a live Google Sheet that's going to uh, show up, uh, I can check this box. Um, so if uh, my spreadsheet keeps updating, it'll, it'll keep updating here. I'll hit save, and then you have to wait for a minute. It's going to extract the data set and, and start moving it up. You don't want to open anything else or you know, touch anything while it's doing it. It should just take a few seconds. And it should kick through. If it does not, um, sometimes it does not kick through to your browser window. Um, uh, and that's fine. Uh, you can always go back uh, and take a look at it uh, in uh, your Tableau public that you've logged into. But it looks like this is kicking in. It's taking a second uh, to uh, 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 mix it and uh, load it. And once it does post there, it'll sh also show up over here uh, in your visits. You just have to hit reload. And it'll take a second or two for it to post. You just have to be patient with the software. It takes a second for everything. Uh, to load and show up there. Uh, and once you have it there, uh, you can double click on it and open it up. Um, and there it is, it's sitting right there. It's still uh, downloading the thumbnail, but it'll show up there eventually. Uh, and then you can go back uh, to your uh, original map here on this tab and uh, open it um, by scrolling down and hitting share. And it gives you embed code right here. JavaScript or a hot link, and you can take and share this. Uh, then it also allows you to tweet it and Facebook it. Uh, but depending on your CMS, if you need a JavaScript embed code or a hot link, uh, it will give it to you. And, uh, you know, if you, it only gives you the hot link, uh, you need it as an iframe, you can always go in and hard code the iframe in. Um, you can find many websites that will do that for you. Uh, this is mobile responsive, so it will resize itself. Uh, and fit into a vertical uh, browser on your tablet or, or tab tablet, your tablet or, or your uh, uh, mobile device, your phone. Um, so uh, that's it. That's how you create a filtered map uh, in uh, Tableau. Uh, and uh, uh, you can isolate uh, different uh, states now and look at their COVID data per 100,000 uh, uh, populations. So, um, you know, important uh, skill to have. So. Uh, make sure you watch both videos. This is part two. Uh, part one will be in the description. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy it and good luck with it. Um, we'll see you next time.